We good? Yep, thank you. Did you push the go button? Yep. We're good. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little rush through revision of how to use sine and cos and tangent to find unknowns in right angled triangles. The first thing we need to do is to work out which trig function we're going to use. Are we going to choose sine or cos or tan? The key thing we have to do to make that decision is label up the H, the O and the A, the hypotenuse, the opposite and the adjacent. The hypotenuse, the way to find that is it's always opposite the right angle. It's the longer side of the triangle. So if you go across from the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. If you're trying to find the opposite, you go across from the angle. That's going to be the opposite. And the adjacent, adjacent means next to, next to the angle, and it's not the hypotenuse, must be the adjacent. So we've labelled up the H, the O and the A, the hypotenuse, the opposite and the adjacent. Usually with these trig problems, we'll find that two, we've got two of those three. And in this case, looking at this example, we've got a 20 degrees angle. We've got 14 metres on the hypotenuse, and we're trying to find the opposite side. There's a question mark there, that's what we're trying to find. And so we're interested in the H and the O. Sokatoa, like that, that's a way of remembering how the different, how the different variables go together. And so we've got an O and an H tit. We can now come across to our soccer tower and be like, which of those three, sin, cos, or tan, is associated with the O and the H? It's obviously the sine function. And so what that means, that SOH means sine angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That's what the SOH reminds us of. Sine angle is opposite over hypotenuse. We're trying to find the opposite, so we need to rearrange that to make it opposite equals. So we've got an H on the bottom of the fraction there. How do we isolate that O and move the H away? What do we need to do? Times by H. Times by H, nice. So both sides times by H times by H, and we're going to end up with H sine theta is equal to O. We can plug some numbers in. So O, I'm just going to write it the other way around, equals 14 sine 20. Who's got a calculator? 4.7? 4.7. We're going to give it a unit metres because we had unit metres here. So 4.7 metres. Does it look about right? Yeah, it looks about right. If that side's meant to be 14, then we can believe that that one there's around about 5. Seems legit. So we're happy with that. So let's apply, let's apply that same logic to this one. It's going to be a little bit different. Let's see where we get to. We're going to start by labelling the H, the O and the A. Opposite the angle, opposite the right angle is the H, opposite the other angle is the O, and next to the angle is the A. Ah, so it's different. This time we've got the O and we've got the A. Which trig function are we going to use when we've got O and A? Tan. Tan, yeah, tan because it's the toa one. And so we're going to write out the same thing that. That T O A makes us think tan angle equals opposite over adjacent. We're trying to find the adjacent in this case, and so we need to re how do we rearrange for A? A is O over tan theta. If you look at where we started with, tan theta is O over A. All we've done is swap the place of the tan theta and the A. You see how we've just swapped them over? Drop and swap. When you've got fraction equals a number, you can do that drop and swap thing. Let's put some numbers in. A is equal to 18 over tan 15. 15.5. 
0.1 centimetres. Does it sound right? Yeah, 50 degrees is pretty close to 45, and so we're expecting these two sides. It's going to be close to an isosceles triangle. So if one's 18, the other could be 15. We're happy, seems sensible. Hey, third example. This time we're up to finding the angle. So we're always going to start the same way. We're going to label up the H, the O, and the A on these right angled ones. H, O, and A, and we've got H. And we've got A, we're trying to find the angle. Which trig function are we going to use? We're going to use cos. Good. So it says C A H, that makes us think cos theta is A over H. We don't want cos theta, we want that theta by itself. The only way to undo a trig function, it's like you have to put it into reverse. So you can't. We can't divide by cos, we're not multiplying these, we're doing something to this number. We're putting in the number and it's giving us like a different number that depends on that input. And so we have to reverse this function in order to get the angle out. How do we reverse the function? We do inverse cos. We have theta is inverse cos of a over h. So that little to the power of minus 1, that's showing us we're doing the inverse, we're reversing the function. We're saying, we're not going to tell you the angle and you tell us a number, we're going to tell you the number you tell us, and the angle, that's what we want the function to do. So, angle is equal to inverse cos of A 10 over H 14. How much is our angle? 44.8. Four, one. Degrees.